All right, welcome back. Another day, another project. Today we're going to be ripping all of this unit out of here now. Now we've got the, um, now all the lead pipe's been disconnected. You know, I'm going to strip all this out. We're going to get all the tiles off the wall. We're surrounded by tiles. There's an awful ceiling. It needs to come down and that light fitting. But yeah, the whole ceiling to floor in tiles are coming out. So keep watching, see how big this bathroom looks when all this is out of here. Run the intro. Right, first things first, to get started, we need to take this tank out and then we need to take the heater tank out as well. So we're just gonna, under here, we've got the pipes that are going to our heating tank. So we're just gonna probably get an angle grinder, cut that one off. Uh, that one up there, I don't know whether how far that's going in, but that might just lift out of there. And then we've got a couple of pipes down the side where our mains cold water used to come in and an overflow going to outside. So we'll just start cutting the pipes, stripping this stuff out. So let's go on with this, time for a time lapse. pipes cut take the top down and I'm just going to start taking this frame out now just to give me more access to these pipes that are down the bottom so yeah just take the frame out now give me a bit more access to the rest of that to get it out all right let's have a time Time for a little tidy up, I'm getting boxed in. Go and chuck some of all this, go and chuck all this outside. Looking bigger already. All right, now we've got most of the frame out. Just gonna take these tiles off. So yeah, all around the bathroom, we've got these little, little old ancient cars, Cadillac, 1906. Daimler, 1905. A Ford T, 1908. My wife wants to see if we can keep some of these. We might use them somewhere else in this bathroom when we do some other tiling. I don't know whether you can see on like these ones. They are all sort of cracked all over the place. So I'm not sure whether this, these are the same. They don't look like it. So I'm just going to take these tiles off of here now and and try it. That's the only one on this bit of wall. While well, I was over at Aldi's the other day, they had a um, set of bits for your multi tools. Um, it comes with like a. This one's made for removing tiles. It's no serrated edges. It's just got a sort of a, just got a sharp edge. So there was like a pack of three cutters. You got your semicircular cutter, your straight cutter. And this tile remover, it was only like four or five quid. So I thought, grab a cheap set of them while I see them. Right, let's get some goggles on. I don't want shards of ceramic tiles in my face. 
get my mask on because I don't want all this hundred year old dust going down my throat either. Should have done, uh, should have done mask and then goggles. There we go, it's off. No damage to the tile, no damage to the back. Not really much to do if I'm there to get off. Clean up the edges. One tile's a good tile. We've got the Ford T. Keeping that safe. Now the rest of it, I can just smash it all off. Right, that's tiles off of there. Now I should just be able to rip the rest of this wooden frame out. Of course, I could have ripped the whole thing out with the tiles on it, but they would have been quite heavy. screwed into one of the joists in the roof or in the loft. Right, so now a little tidy up and then we'll be getting the tank out and we'll see what's holding this up. In three, you can't do that can you? Three, two, one. Oh, oh we're back! Next day. Uh, I've tried to go up and look in the hatch in the loft hatch to see what's going on with this. Uh, it looks like it is just nailed up into something. I think I'm just gonna pull on this, see if it'll come down, not take half the roof of it, or half the ceiling. Right. Taking a bit of wood off, let's give it another go. See, that's moving. And she's out. Right, so that's out of there, but as I suspected, it's going to bring some of the ceiling down. But we're going to be redoing this ceiling anyway, so that's not a big problem. So I'm just going to cut this pipe with the angle grinder, uh, just so if there's any more water in there, it's just going to come out the little pipe. something to mop up any excess water that you're not really expecting. I thought that was pretty much empty, but there was probably still another five litres of water in there. Right, we'll get the other side off.
looks like I'm going to be doing a bit more plastering than what I was expecting. That's going to all need bonding coat. All just come away from the wall. It's so loose. It's not even not even attached anymore. Look, the whole wall is just. So we've got our old air vent there. Our old air vent that's just had a bit of wood put over there. So we'll probably brick that in properly. this video here save it being a bit too long uh, we've uncovered some holes in the walls there god knows what that one was for maybe they originally had a system up there and that was the overflow for that so in the next video we're going to get some bricks we're bricking these holes up over here we'll we'll take this wooden box out that they've used to block up the hole for the old vent and our other holes and these other holes, we'll, um, we'll get some bricks in there, just fill them up. And then we'll rip the bath out. We're going to pull the bath out of here. We're going to get rid of our lead waste. Yeah, we're going to replace that with a new waste because at the moment the overflow goes straight out the wall and onto the path and the garden. So we've got a new one that links the waste up and we'll change it to PVC out of the thing. And also we're going to be sanding the side down and painting it grey. So join us for the fun in the next video. Uh, please like this video if, if you liked it, that is. Um, you can always hit the dislike button if that takes your fancy. And uh, if you want to see the rest of this renovation, please subscribe, hit the bell notification. That way you'll be notified of when I upload new videos and you can watch them straight away if you choose. So that's it for this part. See you in the next part.